Thus, and is sending a special envoy to the United States to try to ease trade tensions between the two countries. Japan says recent action by the Senate Judiciary Committee aimed at imposing quotas and tariffs on Japanese goods is discriminatory. Tonight, WGN bids farewell to a man who, through his dedication and concern for his audience, became an institution in the entertainment business. Frazier Thomas, the longtime master of ceremonies on the Bozo Show and host of Family Classics, passed away this morning at 10.01 after suffering a major stroke here on Monday morning. He was 66 years old. A native of Rushville, Indiana, Frazier began his career at the age of 12 as a kid magician. Later, he found radio, beginning his broadcast career at WLW in Cincinnati. And then, in 1954, Frazier moved into Chicago and on WGN launched a children's program. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to see you this morning. We made our way up to Thursday. All right, George, I told you if we kept plodding, we start on Monday, we'll make it up to Thursday. A lot of the boys and girls are back in school by now. So began an era of children's entertainment that would span 24 years, see more than 6,200 performances, and always hosted by a man dedicated to quality television. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of in my... It's going to work. Okay. He was uh, the ultimate professional. His uh, first concern uh, was always for his audience. Always for his audience. He uh, would never do anything that uh, he didn't feel was right and that could not come into the home, or his own home for that matter. Though this man is better known by another face, Roy Brown, who plays Cookie on The Bozo Show, began working with Frazier long before Bozo as another character. Frazier and I met uh, about 34 years ago as Frazier was preparing to put on the Garfield Goose Show. Uh, he wanted a cartoonist on it to do the magic drawing board. So I auditioned for the job and thankfully got it. And so we started from there. And, uh, I performed on the very first Garfield Goose show that was aired. I hope you boys and girls can be here Sunday afternoon at 3.30 to see our family classic story, the story... In Frazier's of... mind, Sunday was a time for the family to gather together. His programming was geared specifically for the entire family when in the fall of 1961, WGN went on the air with Family Classics. Good afternoon, I'm Frazier Thomas. Welcome to Family Classics. The film story which you're about to see is based on fact. I think that Family Classics program is one that, that everyone associates Frazier with because I think in that, he probably demonstrated some of the qualities which we'll miss the most. There we saw a man who could be truly called a professional. Frazier was a man who felt that his audience deserved only the best, and he was going to see that that's what they got. Frazier selected every movie scene and personally edited each film to conform to the framework of good taste which he demanded. In the late 60s, Frazier gave us some of his more creative work in the form of 30-minute specials, like Sailing the Seas of Columbus and The Legend of Arthur, The Phantom King, when he wrote, rolled camera, produced, edited, and narrated the entire special himself. It's getting nervous time. Uh, I was terribly impressed the first time I ever met him because of his uh, his attitude toward everything. He was such a such a delightful man, so knowledgeable. He was the kind of man who had so much confidence in himself and uh, had such a love of the industry that everything he said and everything he did was it seemed to seemed easy by comparison. Let's give a big hand for our It was in 1976 that Frazier Thomas took over as ringmaster of the Bozo Circus, warming up the audience for the clowns who followed. We found one of those famous clowns, now retired, in San Diego. Sometimes it was a little difficult, I think, to, uh, to measure up to Frazier. Uh, he was such a perfectionist, and everything he did was meticulous. Uh, everything he, uh, he did was carefully thought out, and he performed just as well. In March of last year, I interviewed Frazier. He shared these feelings about the business. Comedy is a very serious form of drama. 
And uh, when you try to get ready to do a piece of comedy, a comedy bit, sometimes the preparation for it is a very serious thing. It has to be done just exactly right. And uh, what looks so thrown together and so easy to do sometimes takes a lot of preparation. He taught me how to uh, be the best I could possibly be, never ask for anything less, and uh, never demand more than you're capable of returning. And though he only had six months with Frazier, the new bozo, Joey Diaria, agreed. That he's, he's left a tremendous memory, um, a skill, a patience, and a devotion to, to the viewers of WGN and um, to uh, the people who've worked with it. It's great loss to us, and it's a great loss to all the generations of children and adults that have grown up watching him. Thank goodness we had his good taste in his talent. Really a person that you have to call a pioneer in this business. I think they'll, they'll miss the warmth, the consideration, and uh, good entertainment, the laughs he provided. And uh, I think that uh, they, may, they, they may not know until they grow up. And so for the last time, bye boys and girls. Frazier is survived by his wife, Anne, a daughter, Kitty, and a son, Jeff. A memorial service will be held Saturday in Wilmette.